Hello, it's Black Venom from UXS, and today I'll be showing you how to use uh, Metasploit 3 framework console to exploit a um, just cleanly installed Windows XP Helm Edition Satisfac 3 system. Okay, let's start. First, you want to open Metasploit Framework 3. Uh, you have to be connected to the internet while you're doing this so you can get local IPs of the other client PCs. At the moment, I'm uh, connected with the IP of 192.168.1.6, and I'll be um, uh, attacking a client with the IP of 192.168.1.2. First, you want to use the command db underscore driver and load the driver sqlite 3. Um, once you've done that, um, yeah. Um, I'll be showing you the my uh, system which I'll be exploiting on my victim's PC which is again running Windows XP Helm Service Pack 3 I'll just show you now um, yeah Windows XP Helm Edition version 2002 Service Pack 3 and I'll be using the um, Internet Explorer 6 exploit yep Internet Explorer 6 and I'll be using that exploit throughout this tutorial Okay, back to Backtrack 4. Yeah, I'll be using Backtrack 4 Live CD and just using the Metasploit framework on the Live CD. Um, yeah, we'll be running through the Internet Explorer 6 uh, exploit, which Metasploit is, well, has a module that that you can use through that. Okay, first you want uh, next you want to create a database called which the command is db underscore create and then a name you want. I named it just XP Service Pack 3. Once you've done that, um, you have to get the local IP of your victim's PC. So for this, I just went back to my other PC and just did IP config instead of doing it remotely. You do have the ability to do it remotely though. But for this tutorial, I just used CMD on my client's PC to get the IP, which is 192.168.1.2. Okay, after that, you want to use the command db nmap and then the local IP. So it'll be db underscore nmap then 192.168.1.2. And this this command will uh, it's it's sort of like a port scanner. It will um, scan your client's PC for any open ports or any other ways to access that computer, like through NetBIOS ports or anything like that. So it's it's just scanning in for ports and other ways to access your computer. At the moment, I have three or four ports, uh, th four possible ways to access the computer. But this is not always. That cannot always be done, but it's a possibility. Um, again, you have the uh, the the ability to uh, get the the local IP of the client's PC remotely through Backtrack, but I just used CMD on my other computer. Found it easier. I didn't really want to go through that hassle. Next, you want to use db underscore autopoon, and we'll be using the functions dash p, dash t, and dash e, which uh, dash p is select modules based on open ports, and dash t is show all matching exploit modules and then dash e is launch exploits against all matching targets 
So then we want to use the db auto pwn function again and use dash p, dash t, and dash e. This sometimes can take a while. I sort of sped up the video so you wouldn't have to go through all the pain in launching like 300 exploits against my machine when only two active sessions were open. So, sort of all sped up. At the end, we see there's two active sessions open with the ID of 1 and 2. You can view the sessions by going sessions dash L, which is sessions list, and then to connect to a session is session dash I and then the ID. So sessions I and then 1. And then you can use the help command to view all the different uh, functions you can do on their computer. So now, in theory, we're connected to their computer. So we want to um, migrate. Uh, we want to use two commands: the migrate and the ps command. Ps will show you all the the list in processes running, and the migrate will migrate your session to that process. <coughs> so I'll be migrating my session to the client's explorer.exe. So and then you use your PID. So press this ID, which the explorer.exe was 464. So I'd use migrate 464. Now, once you do that, everything that you run will pop up on their screen. Otherwise, if you didn't run the migrate 464, it will just pop up in the NT system file. So if you want to do stuff in the background, just use NT system instead of the explorer.exe. Um, yeah. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not really going to be going into too much detail. Uh, I'll just be showing you how to um, keylog uh, iExplorer, Explorer EXE, and just basic functions of like shutdown, so on and so forth, through command prompt. Okay. Then you want to still use the migrate function again and migrate your session to the iExplorer.exe, uh, the PEID, so that is migrate 2108. Again, this will be different to your computer. Each computer has different, different um, process IDs. So you have to use that PS function and grab your own processor ID instead of using mine off the video. Um, yes. Okay, I'll be using the key scan underscore start function now, which will log all the, uh, the incoming keys to a dump file, but only log in the keys from the explorer dot e uh, the Internet Explorer client or the Internet Explorer program. Okay, now we're going to go back to my client's machine and try out some uh, some typing to see if it picks it up. Okay, you can really go to anything. I just went to Gmail. Um, I used my username as hello and my password is lolcats. Um, and I also went back to Google and uh, typed in the laughing man. So, um, in theory, when we dump the log file, we should we should view all everything that I typed in. So we'll try that now. So we did a key scan, let's go dump. And look, we got hello lolcats, hello's username, lolcats password. Then I went to Google and then I typed in the laughing man. So that that obviously worked. Okay. Yeah. So that that's pretty much provided a key log on only Internet Explorer. We can like migrate into other sessions and then say Word and then if they type into Word we can key log that, but that's pretty useless. Okay, um to to execute CMD onto the machine we could we use um, the function execute, then f, then cmd.exe, then dash i. 
yeah, execute f cmd dash i. So I'll just test it out and use a simple function like shutdown dot s uh, dash s, which will shut down the client's machine. And you can see it pops up. It says it's authorized by their user because I migrated to um, their explorer.exe, so it, it thinks it's the machine thinks it's you that shut it down. Um, and I just used shutdown A to abort that. If you're wondering why it disappeared before, um, some more tests. I just did make directory and C drive called hello, then I went back to the client's PC and checked uh, C drive, and there we have a file called hello. Um, I'll be also making a, a directory in E drive, my system file, uh, my system directory. So, mk duh, then whatever you like, e slash pound and then I'll go back to that and boom, right there all good to go yeah yeah so so pretty much we have um, the system by its balls now we can sort of do whatever we like to it we can upload files and execute them or we can create hidden accounts so we can use them later um, and so on and so forth yeah um, yeah thank you for watching just subscribe to my account watch my other videos if you're interested um, I'll be uploading another video based on backtrack air pruning so yeah that, that could be interesting Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Bye.